note taking. The session covers two important processes in literature review. After literature search, they are reading and note taking. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain points to be considered while reading and note taking. Reading. Before taking the notes, first you will have to do exploratory or initial reading regarding the contents of the material. Now let us understand what is SQ3R framework. S stands for survey. So survey all the material that you have collected or listed and write down the gist of the important material which you may require for your topic. Q stands for questioning. These questions are 5 W and 1 H. You should question the contents of the material that you have received. That is who? Who is the author? What is the contribution of this author? Is it a seminal contribution? What type of contribution? How whether it is this author is a well known in the field for the topic you have chosen? Then where? Where it is published, the location or even the top location of the topic. The topic taken is for Calcutta, then you can choose while doing the choice, you can choose Mumbai. So where? Then when? When stands for the year when the book is published or when the material is published. So how recent is it? Then what? Ask what? That is, what is the coverage of the topic? These questions are very, very important. And how the topic is treated? Why? Why is the purpose? Why is the book or the journal article is written? So think of all these questions that stands for Q. That is questioning. So there are five W's and one H. You should question the material. Then three R's. There are three R's. One is read the material in detail. R, read the material in, the, in detail. Then recall, remember the material and establish the interconnections between all these articles, whether you can find any connections with the article, who has quoted who. So this is again recall and last R stands for review. Then you can review that is overall consideration of the topic in the context of your own a focus or your own topic that you have chosen. This is SQ3R framework. S stands for survey. So first you cursorily survey the text and then prepare the gist of whatever you have read on the topic you have selected. Now question, Q stands for question in SQ3R. You have to formulate questions and ask these questions to the contents of the material. They are when, that is when the material was published, who stands for the author who has written the uh, material, that is topic is treated, how the matter is treated. So there are five W's and one H. Reading. Now this reading stands for careful reading or in-depth reading because you have to establish connections for reading. So read carefully and then try to establish connections in between the documents which you have collected. So reading is very important component here. Recall and review. Now out of three R, we have seen first R that is reading. Second R stands for recalling. 
Here, you have to try to remember whatever you have read and correlate the material. So here, comparative aspects creep in. Then third R stands for reviewing. So you overall review, see the components of the themes you have selected in depth. And then you have to summarize what you have seen. While reviewing the material, you will have to adopt analytical and critical approach, thinking how the authors have treated this topic or the subject. Note taking. You can take a 5 by 3 card or you can take your computer and take down the notes regarding the details of the book or the journal article or the thesis. Now here, all the important details like author, title, journal articles, name, then uh, journal's name, then volume number, issue number, publisher, place of publication that we are going to see, what details we are going to add in this card. But you can also add short form of the library you have visited or the number, book number of the library where you have seen. Then on the verse of the card, if the book or if the journal article is that much important, in case of books, you can write, take the notes, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, what are the contents. Or if you want to give any quotations, take down the quotations and write the page number on the verse of the card so that you need not go to the library again and again. You will get the full details within your working bibliography. So your working bibliography will be ready with you, even the journal's detail, journal details. And if you have referred to the material from internet, write the URL, a URL, complete the details, and keep the card in serially according to the surname of the author that will prepare automatically your working bibliography for your work. This is note taking. Now, note taking, you will have to write the full details of the book either on the card or jot down in your computer, which are these details, author, it may be a person or an institution, then title of the work, place of publication, publisher and year, this is for a book. For the details of the article, you will have to write down author, title, journal title, volume and issue number, here also year should come, and pages, from which page to which page the article runs. So these details are must. But if you have taken the article from internet, then DOI that is document or identification number and also the date on which you have seen this article should be jotted down in your card or in your computer. These are very important things or if you are referring to this article from internet then give the URL. So you will have to write the full URL in the note itself. Now, if you are referring to the website, for example, if you are taking the list of universities from UGC, then you will have to give the URL of UGC. If you are referring to a document, you will have to give the document number. And if you give the DOI, there is no necessity to refer to the date when on which you have seen this article. But the date of document retrieval is given when DOI is not there because on the internet, the material, it is not stable and it changes. And it is because of this that the date of document when you have retrieved the document is very important. Summary. To sum up, you can use SQ3R technique and detailed note taking explained in this module 
very well for your successful writing of review of literature. Thank you.